everybody, welcome back to part four of the mini paper bag journal. Uh, I've went through and decided a couple places I want to try to get um, worked on today in this part of the uh, process journal. So this is the back cover and I decided here, this is one of the long coin envelopes. Um, I've decided I'm going to turn that into a pocket. Um, actually, it's going to be a double pocket. You could make it a triple, but I'm going to secure it all the way down. And then we'll have the pocket there, a pocket here, and then I'll probably do some decorating there. You could... Actually, I'll, I will make it three pockets, but I'll have the other pocket on this side, so we're just going to glue that down. As you can see, I've already machine stitched that. And then um, when I tea dyed that, that um, closed that opening down, and I just left it because I think it kind of adds to it. I mean, I when I'm doing my envelope pockets and things, I actually like to know that they were envelopes. I know some people, you know, like to cover it all up and it's all down to personal um, choice, but I kind of like knowing that that was actually a coin envelope and uh, it's been turned in to a pocket, but I guess, you know, that's me. You do, if you don't like the look of it, you can on, honestly, you can just cover it up or just go with something altogether different. So get that held down so now we'll have three pockets and while that's drying I'm just going to um, clip that on the corners <clears throat> and then I'll flip this over and we'll work on this other one. Um, this page because it's it's quite a bit shorter I'm going to go ahead and do an extension on that one. Sorry, I was looking for my other bulldog clip. Um, I tidied up a little bit again this weekend, and uh, of course the first couple days I can't find anything when I do that. So this was just a leftover bit of, um, this is a vintage calli calligraphy um, practice page. I picked these up at a flea market here. They came over from France, not that you'd be able to tell that. but um, And I just punched it with this Martha Stewart, or actually no, this was an EK. Um, yeah, I don't know why the design looks like a Martha Stewart, but um, it's an EK success punch. And sometimes if it's really thin paper, it won't... Uh, punch that through completely. So I'm just going to adhere that and then that's going to be like a double, you know, that'll extend out. So let's just get a bit of glue on that. And then I had some of these leftover um, B tickets, and I cut one of those out just to make that into a little tab to pull that out. So see, now we've got that writing there, and then on this side we'll have the extra writing space. 
I might come back later and add a pocket there. I don't know. Um, so let's go ahead and decorate this up a little bit. So this is some um, muslin that I've just stamped onto. Now, <clears throat> well, I guess I'll just go ahead and show you because some of you may be new to journal making. I'll just show you very quickly. If you're going to stamp on fabric, this is what I use. I know there's other products out there, but this is what I use, guys. So um, I'll just show you very quickly. Uh, how to do that. Let me grab a stamp. Oh, I like that. Queen bee. <laughs> okay, let me grab a little bit of... So when I've got little bits of um, muslin left over, I just shove it into a drawer. We'll see. Um, and just with this, make sure if you if you buy this, you've got to have the cleaner to clean your stamps with because um, it, it it's a solvent ink and it will uh, damage your stamp if you leave that on. Okay, so now let me get that. It's not the right scissors for this, but they're the ones that are handy, so. Okay. So there we go. I'm just going to put that there with a little bit of um, fabric tack. Try to spread that out. Something else there, I think. Okay, we'll come back to that at the end, but I'm definitely going to do something else there, I think. So let's just go ahead and make a, a little journal card for that, that pocket. <coughs>
this little set. Now this was a separate, but um, this is indigo blue, and this was their little dinky bee. But this one, isn't that a beautiful, beautiful set? This is an English company, in case you aren't familiar with them. They have beautiful stamps. Okay, let's get this. And I'm going to put a uh, eyelet in this. Okay, just snip off a bit of that. And then now we need to make a tag for the back there. See if this will fit before I decorate it. <laughs> uh, sometimes I decorate things and then realize actually that doesn't fit that pocket. So oh yeah, that's going to be that'll be perfect because then we'll have some lace showing as well. Okay, so this one I think it would be nice. Again, this is another set uh, from Indigo Blue. A good laugh is like sunshine in nature. Isn't that a nice saying? I'm going to put that on there. Yeah, that's it. Okay, those got mixed up. Okay, so I'm going to stamp this. So I had, I'm sorry if I've been a little bit quiet this morning, guys, it's early here and uh, I probably need to grab myself another cup of coffee. I'm just still in the, in the mornings, I, I'm kind of gathering my thoughts. And uh, today, I guess I'm kind of deep in thought about things, but... Um, uh, getting there, just need another cup of coffee, I think. 
So this little saying, I think what I want to do is put that on. Let me find a little scrap of paper. I like the idea of that being on a little bit of paper here. We're having really hot weather um, this week, and uh, it's getting very warm in my studio, particularly um, like this when I'm <coughs> when I'm filming. I close the windows because um, you know I don't want the noise to come through on the video. So. It's starting to get quite uncomfortable in here. Let me trim that off a little bit more. I want that to be at the top. Yeah. So yeah, we're at this point now with the with the um, the journal. It's this is I'm afraid going to be, you know, how we've got to finish it off. There's uh, you've seen how to do the base of it. Now, as you're well aware, if you make journals, this is the time consuming part is now coming back in and uh, embellishing it so I will try not to drag this out too much guys because I do have I've already in my mind thinking about the next things I want to start working on so I'll try not to make this too many parts but again I, I want to you know try to fill the journal up pretty good all right, so let me get some seam binding on there. I just, I love the little paper bag journals. I think they, they have a really nice feel to them. Sorry, you're here in my uh, cabinet doors. I keep bumping into them. Um, they just have a really nice feel, these little paper bag journals. I think that's really sweet. The other thing we could add is a couple of these. We might do that later. I just want to get all of the pockets in. And then I know I've got to do a journal card back here. I'll do that later. Let's carry on with our pockets. So going back to the front now. Um, I'm probably going to want to extend that. This has been extended with a nice little pocket there, double pocket. We've got a pocket here we need to make a little tag for. Got that flip out. Okay, let's make a few tags. I'll be okay, guys, I had to stop the camera and clear the card because it was filling up. So here we are. <clears throat> I want to make a, a tag for this little pocket. <clears throat> and I've got one of the Artie Mays tags. So I've cut that out, but I thought it would be kind of cute to put a little pocket on the back. And again, this is my porch print, um, the part of the B bundle. So I think I'm just going to try to make a little pocket out of this. I think that'll be cute on the back, and then 
I've got this B here that we're going to have as a little journal card. Okay, so let me ink this up. I'll not add that to it yet, guys, because I'm, I'm terrible about adding these to the pockets and then I'm getting glued in, and I don't think that's going to fit now. Ugh, always the way, isn't it? But that's okay. I'll come up with something else on that. So I'm just going to stick that in there for now. I think it would be nice to have a little something here. I'll try and see if that will fit. This is my porch prints again. Yeah, that's, that's really cute. I'll have to use that someplace else in the journal. In fact, I'll tuck it in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and that should be fine now. I'll add isn't that little jar adorable? I'll add that to the back pocket. <coughs> Every time I see a bee kit, I want it. I don't know, there's something about the bumblebees. Um, but then I think, well, I can only have so many. <laughs> I can't afford to buy every bumblebee, bumblebee kit out there. <laughs> that fits in fine. That's really sweet. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of lace up here. Okay, guys, I just stitched that there. So that tag is ready. Now, the other thing I decided I want to do, and again, I will have to go to the machine for this, is I've got these little banners and I think these would be really cute. Let me just decide where I'm going to put them. I think I'll put them here. I think these are going to be really cute at the top of the page. And that will create a tuck spot. But how I'm going to do it is I'm going to stagger these so that it will cover a large spot. But let me go stitch this and then hopefully you can see what I'm trying to do here. So I'll machine stitch across there and then we'll trim it up and uh, finish embellishing. 
Okay guys, I have stitched that a couple of times and now I'm just going to snip off the top of that just to make that even. And then I'm going to attach that there, but I thought it would be kind of cute. I fussy cut the bee and I'm just going to add a little bit of lace here with him. And then this will be a little, another little tuck spot. I think that'll be sweet. Actually, let me just put a little bit more glue there. So now you can see, I think it looks nice with the stitching as well. And then now you've got a couple of little tuck spots there where you can add a, a few journal cards. And we'll just do that so you can see. These are a couple of Artie Mays. So yeah, you've actually got three little places you could tuck some things. I'll just stick that there. That looks really sweet. Okay, so let's just see. What have we done today? We've got the pocket tag. We've done a triple pocket here with some hand stamped. And then I also pulled that image. I thought that went really nice with that. We've added this little page with a tab. That's been done. We need to do, we'll do this in the next one. We'll do it, we'll add another tag to that. So starting from the beginning, we've added this flip out. We've got a pocket here. Oh no, don't tell me that's... No, it's just snug. I thought, oh, has it glued, glued in there? <laughs> okay, so we've got that pocket. This pocket. That little pocket. We've made this pocket, another little pocket here, and then a flip over. We've now got a pocket tag tucked in that one. And then we've created this, like a triple tuck spot there with the little banners. We've got this flip out specimen card. And then this is where we are. So it's slowly it's filling out. I'm very happy with that. I think that's uh, coming along nicely. 
So that is it for today, guys. I'll try to gather everything up so that the next part will run a little bit smoother. And I think we'll try to finish it up in the next part um, so that this doesn't drag out too long because we're now at the point that um, you just we're just adding some final touches to it um, because this is just a little mini journal, so we're not going to do too much embellishing on it. Uh, we'll keep it nice and small and compact. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that today. I hope you all are keeping well. Um, do share with me if you make one of these journals. I would love for you to post some photos of it so I can see it. Um, if you're on Instagram, you can always uh, do hashtag the Firefly Studio 67. Um, I don't tend to check every day, but I, I will catch up with it. Um, a couple of times a week. So yeah, I'd love to see what you guys are getting up to with this. Take care of yourselves, and I'll be back very soon to finish this up. Bye, guys.